Welcome to learning React with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass data while navigating from one route to another route using use navigate hook in combination with the use location hook. Before that, let's recap what we did in the previous video. We created two components, login and register. Added these routes to the app component. In home screen, we had two buttons, one for login and the other for register. And the UI looks like this. In the home component, we have two buttons, login and register. When I click on login, it navigates to slash login. When I click on register, it navigates to slash register. We achieved this using use navigate hook from React Router DOM version 6. Use navigate returned a function and we stored it in navigate variable using which we defined our navigation. Also, we saw how we can replace the route in the history stack using options provided by use navigate hook. Finally, we saw how to go back and forward by providing numbers in the navigate function instead of path. Now, let's see another option provided by use navigate hook called state. To demonstrate this, let's create a login form. And once we click on login, we should be seeing the message welcome followed by the username. Our form is going to have two inputs, username and password. Let me quickly copy paste the code for inputs. This input is to take the username and this is to take the password. And I have given autocomplete off just to allow, just to disable any suggestions that are automatically provided by the browser. Let's bind these two inputs to the variables using use state hook. So let me create two variables one for name and the other for password. The initial values of these two uh, variables will be empty string. So let's create another variable for password and this should be set password and even this is going to have an initial value of empty string. In case you do not know what use state hook is, we discussed this hook in detail in our previous videos. Please check out the React.js playlist in case you do not know the use state hook. When we enter something in these inputs, we want these eight variables to be updated. So let's add on change event to these inputs. On change. This will be a function call. By default, it would receive a parameter called event. And we use set name method to update this name variable. So event dot target dot value. Since this is just a single line of statement, let me remove these curly braces. And let's copy paste the same thing to password as well except that set name will be replaced with set password so that password variable will be updated with whatever information user enters in this text box let's save this this is how the ui looks let's make it look better by adding some styles here in app.css i have created two styles uh, for the login form and for the inputs in the login form. Let's add these classes there. So to this div, I will just say class name equals login form. And let me place these buttons also inside a div. And move this into the login form div. Let's save it. And this is how our form looks much better. So 
when I enter something and click on login, I want to uh, show the username in the login screen. Now, if I click on login, it simply says login, but we don't want that. This is the button where we used navigate function returned by use navigate and provided the path. And previously we used replace to replace the top of the stack with this path. So similarly, in this option object, we have another property called state where we can provide the data that we want to pass it to another component. Here, I want to pass name and password. Since the names and values are uh, having the same name, we can simply write it as name comma password. This is the shorthand notation in such cases. So let's save it. And okay, we are passing data from a home page to the login page. Now, the second step is to access that data in the login page. In order to do that, React Router DOM version 6 has provided another hook called use location. So let's import use location hook from React Router DOM. And this would return an object and let's store that in the location variable. And before using it, let's see what uh, properties this location object has. Let's open the developer tools and go to console. Okay, we have given uh, uh, incorrect the case here so let's go back and update this autocomplete to capitals let's save it and go back to the browser if i refresh this error is gone okay so now i will enter something uh, let the username be interview pro user one and the password is test one two three four now i'll click on login it went to slash login and now we see an object in the console. This has a property called state and it has whatever object I passed here. So if you remember, we passed name and object. Here we have name and uh, I mean, sorry, not object, password, name and password. We need to make use of the state dot name to display welcome and the username. Let's go back to login.js. Instead of login, I would say welcome and location.state.name. And let's update this to h4. Let's save it and go back. So I will type another user1 and test123 login. Now we say welcome user1. Usually we do not pass a uh, password. We don't need to pass password from one drop to another. So let's just pass name here. Now, if I come back, user two, test one, two, three, login. Now we see only name property in the state and we see welcome user two. So this is how we can pass data from one route to another and access the state using use location. If the content is helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.